akin to a man knowing his wife all right yes you it, it's 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 like it's like it's like intimacy a man knowing his wife that means that you expect an exchange in this case you are the bride and the husband the holy spirit who represents the presence of the father and jesus so there is a transference of virtue and possibilities you are impregnated with realities so you leave that prayer place with a dimension of energy like a woman receives seed she doesn't advise the seed to start growing or to get attached to their womb programmed in that system the, the seed knows what to do and the womb knows what to do her assignment is just to receive it and by the next day she doesn't want to eat something again so something happens to you in the place of prayer when you are done you will very soon find out that you didn't have the courage to tell your friends no by weekend, uh, no, not the former you. The former you will rush to that bar with speed. But now you are finding out that there is a greater fortitude. There is a grace that helps men to say no. And you can look at them and say, gentlemen, this is not me again. Prayer is powerful. The last official thing Jesus did before his passion was prayer. He went to Gethsemane and prayed and prayed the bible says in one of the synoptics that he prayed repeating the same words three times if jesus did not pray he would have been surprised what will happen on the way to golgotha because he was in every way a man that means the weariness of men look let me tell you all men are men one of the systems that separates you as though not a man is the possibilities that you encounter in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. You can get up and pray and in that prayer, you can receive an impartation. It's like a vaccination. The joy of the Lord. As soon as you step into the office, here comes a lousy person programmed by darkness to frustrate your day. And the director says, I've been looking at you. Be careful. And ordinary, you say, sir, don't shout at me like that. Or you are my younger brother. It's just because, <laughs> but because you have been secured in the place of prayer. You exhibit qualities that are not given to men. A man should be angry. But you look and say, it's all right, sir. God bless you. And they say, don't be keeping quiet like this. So this is Nigeria. You have been cultured. I tell you why people behave as if they are not children of God something happens to you in the place of prayer most of our prayer life is not excited because it's, it's not exciting because it's need driven need driven as soon as you just quickly introduce yourself Lord God you are the lion of the tribe of Judah you are the multi-breasted one you, all those things are preambles quickly so that you just and said okay Lord I'm here now I'm here and you, you stop even praying again and say, Lord, I'm, this one, I'm not quoting any scripture again. I'm here to talk to you about this issue. How long will my husband keep behaving? Is it that you are not, you know, all those things. They are wonderful. There is, a, there is an aspect of prayer that can respond to petitions. But you don't know the blessedness of prayer until you see how exciting it is when prayer is focused on transformation. Are, are, are we together now? We just help the lady. So it's very important for you to understand this. Believers don't pray. Believers don't pray. I'm telling you this. Or believers pray wrongly. You just go and hold on to someone's, hold on to someone's building. Hold his window somewhere and you are crying and shouting. You see, I hope you are not embarrassed. Let me tell you sincerely. We have to trust God for grace to help us to be wise. The things of the spirit don't work like that. Let me teach you how success comes. We are not discussing success, but let me just... The moment you are seeking it, you will never get it. 
these things were never designed to be pursued I was teaching my people the other day listen let me tell you this life is dimensional as programmed by God and every dimension has the possibilities that are supposed to come are we together so call it level one two three four five if you are in level one in your understanding and perception and you want the result of level five if you get it and bring it here that level will fight it and send it out of your life you grow when you grow all the realities that accrue that level of growth will come to you success is attracted by who you are becoming not what you go, do and get no it's why many people fail our labor is to try to draw things that are in dimensions that are higher than our understanding and perception the assignment is to journey with the holy spirit as you transit to these realms everything around you that is lower than that realm will be instructed to leave you your contacts your friends your clothes your money everything there is a law that edits your life at every realm see this is why we are frustrated because some things we are doing there is a law that should be doing it but because we do not understand that they have been pre-programmed our worry over them understanding brings ease so you will see a young man for instance who is just starting life and insists that he must fly business class and while you are sitting there your realm is fighting it you know you are not supposed to be here your understanding how you know you are not there is only one aspect of your life is there when you grow everything grows you are in business class but your clothes are not for business class your mind is not for business class the recharge card in your phone is not for business it's proof that you you follow the window to be there when you are patient and you grow everything will grow together the same energy it takes to be fake is the same energy it takes to be real So we are frustrated that's why most of our prayer lives are full of requests and pain and shouting and say lord i can't believe this we're in the same school with this person what i saw today i won't let you rest the bible says, give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem you see those kinds of scriptures we, we just because the bible is a prophetic book you can make it speak any language you want a herbalist can use the bible to destroy you it's a prophetic book so we have to be very careful these needs and cares many times they come from the lusts that are enshrined in our hearts that were designed to be corrected in the place of prayer many things happen when we pray the purging of the spirit your motives are purged the need to prove a point is eroded quickly because God helps you to understand that growth is something that is natural with men that means I can live a former version of myself to another version. So when you see the former me, don't use the former me to judge how I will be tomorrow. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. The average prayer life of a believer in Nigeria is need-driven. And there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that it makes no sense to pray for six hours asking for things. It doesn't make sense. Do you have that much prayer request? Or is God that deaf? If your prayer life is need driven, 20 minutes is fair. You are talking to an intelligent God. Rent, oh God. My wife, oh God. Very simple. You are, and, and you are ticking the list. So why will I pray for five hours? What am I asking for? But if the prayer is for intimacy and growth just saying thank you alone can take one hour hmm. this is how the mature pray while you are there oh god and someone can just be thinking your mercy oh god he's starting to pray oh. 
look what you have done to me mighty God and before you sing in tongues to start you, that one is just knocking on the gate <laughs> that's why people pray well during retreats no prayer request the angels are there no request and say who is this man I hope you know the angels study us too to know God more the angels are not the highest of God's creation man is so they depend on our interaction to know God the more too and while the angels wait the only vials they carry from us is an incense of worship and gratitude for hours you're just singing songs and blessing him one more minute pray in the spirit Salakando praska da barato sada balakato prandas kada bredege de bo shalakata empretos kaparus kada brehesh kada balanda kroska kratos kada bradish kada brado zazeneke pa shalabrada kada balada balada bos. Remember, this is a training. It's a church service, but it's a training. Just a few seconds and you are done. Rabaris kabaranda balika praska de baruta sada balakotos. Sanis Kabaranda Gadu Sabretes Kalabaruta Sadebeletus Salanandas Kabaratos Kabradis and Ekapaharutasia Sabo Sabarus Kabarundas Kalabarutis In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please be seated.